Meanwhile, Floyd County crews spend the day cleaning up after the latest winter storm that left many roads there dangerous or even impassable. Yeah, the weather reminds a lot of uh, elderly and disabled people of the possibility that something could happen to them and no one would be able to find them or to get to them. Now, the Floyd County Sheriff's Office has a new program designed to keep that from happening all year long. WSLSN's Bethany Teague explains. I love to fish. Rise and shine Floyd. We want to be that person that checks on. This program launched just days ago under the direction of newly elected Floyd County Sheriff Brian Craig. Our dispatch will call him somewhere between the hours of 9 and 10 every morning, seven days a week, 365 days a year, just to check to make sure they made it through the night okay. These calls go out to elderly or disabled residents who don't have someone checking on them daily. The Mennonite church is sitting where I... 80 year old Dolores Hammett was one of the first to sign up. It's a sad thing that an old person has worked all their life and then all of a sudden there's no family and you're left alone. It was frightening. Craig came up with the idea after a difficult call he answered years ago as a deputy. An individual had fallen when we got there. She had been down for a couple of days. The thought that that could be her haunts Hammett every day. How am I going to get to a phone? And these buttons, what good are they if you're knocked out? Nothing. But now, no matter what happens, participants know they will get a call in the morning. Dispatchers will try up to three times. If there's still no answer, an officer will be sent to check things out. Our night in shining armor, it takes a load off. You have no idea what it's like. The program is open to all who are interested. The goal is to have at least 10 to 15 people on the call list for the first year. In Floyd, Bethany T, WSLS 10.